hello welcome to tutorial for your channel in this video i will show you how you can host your wordpress website for free all the timestamp will be in the description so you can skip to your favorite part open this website smartasp.net hosting its link will be in the description when you click on it you will get to this website click on get started now this is the registration form first you have a drop down with 60 days selected you can also select affiliate program both are same i will talk about it more later in this video then you have to give a username with no space and then email address and confirm that email just copy and paste it then write a password with alphabets and numbers then rewrite it make sure it matches then type this code in here after this scroll down and check this box now this is the affiliate id which is mine so i will also show you how you can make your own affiliate id they claim that they pay five dollar per referral but i cannot verify that because i haven't referred it to someone if they do pay i will definitely make a video about it and share it with you so make sure to subscribe after filling the form you have to click on sign up now now they have sent an email for verification to your email address which we have provided so this is the email which they have sent click on this link it will take you to this login page provide the username and the password and type in this code so this is the dashboard and at the top this are the navigation bar first we have new order here are the list of all their paid program let's click on this affiliate tab so this is where you will find your affiliate id or you can just copy the affiliate link and share it with your friend and this is where they claim to give five dollars and if you scroll down you will get this banners ad which you can use in your website i have already made a video about it where i have used the same banner in my blogger website so its link will be in the description so if you go on referral you can see how many people you have referred and it have many option but let's go to this hosting and click on try now so this form will open fill this form and remember the password and then type the name of the root folder this can be anything i am writing root and check this box and then click on next and then click on submit it may take one to three minutes so just wait now your hosting tab will change it will have this control panel button click on it so this is your website address or your domain you can also add your own domain from here if you have one so if you click on your current domain it will have this default page open now to install wordpress here you have to click on apps and you can select most popular or free php application both will have wordpress in it and here is wordpress it also have other cms and frameworks if you scroll down for this tutorial we will go with wordpress just click on install button and then click on next now this is the folder which we have created and in there it has this website if you want to create a new website then you have to delete this website then we see this message if you install the plugin into your root folder it might override your existing file so make sure that the folder is empty then click on next provide a database name and a password for it and click next and then just click on confirm and install so this is wordpress 2023 theme so now let's log in in our dashboard so this is the username and password so we have successfully logged into our wordpress dashboard let's try changing the theme
so our theme is changing and we can edit it also now i will show you how you can publish your local host wordpress website to this hosting all you have to do is to download just one plugin open both of your wordpress dashboard it is called all in one wp migration so search for it and here it is and click on install now we do the same here also then activate it on both side after you have activated it you will see it on your left side under tools i am in my local host dashboard and i am selecting it and clicking on export then click on export to and select file it will take some time you have to wait after it is done it will give us download option click on it and it will download on your computer then you will go to your hosting dashboard and this time you will select import and then click import from and select file and then you have to locate the file where you have downloaded it and select it and open it it will start importing it will give this warning that all the file will be overwritten click on proceed because that's what we want and click on finish after it is done after that when you will go to your website and refresh it and here you go you have successfully transferred your local host wordpress to your hosting all right well this was just a really quick tutorial if you think this video was helpful to you in any way give this video a like if you want to see future videos like this hit the subscribe button that's it for this video i will see you in the next video till then take care have a nice day